Hello there, um, basically today I wanted to do a quick, basically a quick overview video of um, the quality differences between this little device, which was about £12 on Amazon, and um, this little device, which uh, it wasn't £12, it was about £70, so there is a massive difference in the price. Um, I just want to do, uh, just do an overview, because I've already done one video on the quality of that particular device. But, let's give you an example, and as you can see, I am actually recording through the 4K Elgato device. <clears throat> and I will attempt to show you the quality for yourself so you can actually see it because uh, it's I am using this on the phone so excuse the zoom and I also think the volume isn't up on it or is it there we go um, now, this little device is fantastic for basic recordings and stuff. You can, you know, you can do some okay stuff with this. It, 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 it's more than capable of getting you up and running with a YouTube channel and doing gaming content. Um, but as you can see, if I look carefully, you see the flickering? Um, I mean, it is upscaling it, so, you know. I don't show you. Uh, now the uh, I do have a Game Boy plan underneath that. Um, I've gone over this in another video, which I haven't actually uploaded as of yet. But uh, Japanese Game Boy uh, player with a Japanese Game Boy disc, and um, it's it, it's a pretty cool little device. Um, you will not be able to record Game Game Boy games with this device, as I'm going to show you in a minute, because it looks horrifically bad. Um, but as you can see, I'm going to just zoom in so you can see. You can. See, I don't know if you can make it out the flickering that well, but you will see a massive difference in the image clarity in a minute when I change it over to the HDMI device. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, uh, fantastic game. This is actually rather difficult to, to actually do this with one hand and holding recording the phone at the same time. But um, yeah, load the GameCube again. Only this time I'm going to get my different discs so you can see uh, what you get when you try and run Game Boy games on this. Now I have, oh, as I said, I've already shown a video where what you get from this and it ain't the best. Uh, but I'm using a preloaded disc, as I've shown in the previous video. Or should I say the video that will be uploaded after this, essentially. Um, that's the Game Boy Japanese disc that you'll need to actually run the thing. Um, but what you're about to see is truly horrific in terms of the quality. Um, just as an example, that's Pokemon Blue in there. Um, good game if you like Pokemon. Um, it's just pretty much there because I've been testing this out to see what it, if it runs everything. And so far, it's run everything I've thrown at it pretty much. Um, expensive PC kit though, 105 quid. So what you're about to see is going to be truly horrific. Truly horrific. I discovered this when I bought the thing the other day. In fact, it may not even record. Is it not even going to have it? No, I don't think it's going to have it at all. Uh, 
Okay, so that doesn't work. But I can show you something else. That. When I tried it before it worked, but this is a Game Boy game, so... Game Boy games resolutions are even lower than Game Boy Advance, so... If I turn it off... Back on... I thought I killed it from it there. That was kind of worrying. If I eject Pokemon version, you can see it is a legitimate tatty Pokemon cartridge. Okay. Oh, so, right, so the idea I was trying to do was trying to play the Game Boy player and just demonstrate the key differences between the quality. Now that's $16,999 on Amazon. And essentially, uh, it's just a, a, a HDMI adapter, essentially, but it actually connects into the, the digital output on the GameCube. So if I can, you can actually see it for yourself. So this port here. Um, the quality is night and day, as you're going to see in a second. It's... Um, it is substantially, substantially more expensive, but it is one of the better options you can probably use. Um, if you're wanting to record uh, specifically Game Boy content, um, I, I imagine it's not not as common as your, your more console-based stuff, but I mean, it's uh, still... In fact, I'm learning something because I've never actually tried this with this device. Because when I tried it with this is another Pokemon game, uh, Sapphire. Um, there you go. And in fact, it's not even having it. It's just giving me. Oh, hang on. As you can see, uh, trying to record that would absolutely suck if you wanted to do any kind of let's plays or commentary over it and stuff for a YouTube channel. Um, what I'm going to show you in a minute, though, is uh, the differences between the two. And yes, the save file does actually work. So yes, um, hmm. a lot of them have to be replaced. The new, the batteries are replaced a lot of the time now. So as you can see, it's a uh, horrific. Um, so let's demonstrate how it would look after we put this little device in. So essentially all we do is we plug this in. <clears throat> this is going to be tricky with one hand, but so you plug it into there. Um, uh, the only thing you have to be kind of careful of is it can uh, be a little bit... Um, it can hang a little bit, kind of like you have with your graphics cards on your PC and stuff, like it can have that, um, that sack. So, that's something to be what to watch out for when you do if you do purchase one of these. Like I said, they're on Amazon at about seventy quid. Um, obviously, I've got an internal four K Elgato device built into the PC. Uh, one runs from that to the TV, and this one, as you can see, with HDMI leaders, comes with it. Um, plug it into there, like so. Now, as you can see, uh, the quality is night and day in terms of the differences. Um, as you can see from the menus, um, and you can even with the uh, the, the actual Game Boy player, you can actually it may only work when you're in Game Boy games, but you can actually change the screen but screen aspect ratio and stuff. So what I'll do now is I'll quickly show you Luigi's Mansion. And sadly, I couldn't show you the comparison for Wind Waker because it only runs at 60 hertz, which isn't something I actually realised until just now. But I was quite shocked at the difference in quality because I I've been using the old Egato HD, the the external one, not the 60, the first original Egato device. And I was very shocked at the difference in quality. 
but straight away you can see the difference is night and day. Alright, it's running at 4 by 3 aspect ratio, so you know, that is sort of it, you know, but I mean look at the difference. I mean, it's not fully HD, but the colour the colours are far more vibrant. Um it's rather As you can see, I mean, my god, the difference is night and day. It really is. It's rather difficult to do this with you, with one hand on the GameCube controller. But there's, you know, it, it it's worth the money if you if you're into this sort of thing and you record this stuff for um, fun or just for a YouTube channel. It, it's it's I'm stuck. <laughs> it's well worth the money. And it's even, you know, it looks good. It looks really, really good. It's, as I said, it's not, it's one of the, I believe it's the cheapest one you can get for, for that type of quality. And this company also do PS2 adapters, uh, Dreamcast adapters. Um, I, I'm not sure about the N64 because the Nintendo 64, well, the PAL version, unfortunately, doesn't have... Um, any kind of SCAR output, you uh, it, it only has basically that. That, in fact, is a 64 uh, lead, and uh, uh, the power is an N64. Unless you unless you modify it, which means ripping it open and uh, putting a mod chip in it, it'll only output that quality. So you kind of it ain't gonna make any difference in terms of the quality.